Good afternoon everyone, it's Patty. Uh, today I'm just going to do a short little video. We're going to make cold cream makeup remover. And it's a very small amount because it's going to be for um, two gifts. And then, of course, Amanda and me. So, this is an easy way of doing if you're wondering how to do lotions and any type of emulsions. So, what we're going to start out with is I got aloe vera juice in here. Everything has been sprayed down, bleached, alcoholed, so everything is in tip-top shape. So first thing I'm going to do is take my aloe vera juice or whatever water you're going to use and before I even heat it up, and you can do it if you had a, if I had, let's say, a huge order or if I wanted to make a lot, I would put it on top of the stove and do it that way instead of in the microwave. But since this is so little, I can watch it. So, I am going to add citral alcohol flakes. They're all weighed out. I am going to add e-wax, which this is a silky one. I think I got that one from Nature's Garden, but everybody's selling it now. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the microwave until this is melted. If I, I'm some lotions and creams that I make. That I'm not making a whole bunch of batch, let's say this much here, I would add everything in it. Yeah. And then I would mix it with my stick blender, and then after it cools down, I would add my preservative and bottle it up. I don't have to sit here and use the stick blender constantly to make an emulsion if you got the right ingredients. So, let me pause you, and I will bring you back. Okay, I got the waxes melted, and I am going to put in a half a teaspoon of each of my uh, additives. Allotone, got it from uh, Lotion Crafters. Urea, oh yeah. I will have to sit down and make a coffee chat on these beautiful luxuries for the skin. And my last marshmallow root, Nature's Garden. Love, love, love using the three of these together. And I use it in my lotions, my face lotions especially. And we're going to get this mixed up. And I know probably the newbies will say, well, what's the temperature, you know, when it melts or whatever? Um, 150 degrees? Yeah, it's about the temp that will melt um, most waxes. Not beeswax, but, you know, when you're making lotions. I think that you might have to hold the temp a little bit more for the beeswax. But for the citral alcohol flakes or BTMs or anything like that, yes. Okay, so let's just put in the rest of the ingredients. I have extra virgin olive oil in that pretty. I just love that green. I'm a green person. What can I say? Get all that in there. You can use any type of oil that you want. There's lots of good face uh, light oils out there. And of course, my big old smack and whopping vitamin E. Yep, sunflower oil. But there is a lot. This is a cold cream and it is a makeup remover. So, I am not going to get into the elaborate 
light oils, I would put that in a face lotion. But Alatone and Urea and Marshmallow Root, you don't have to wash your face with this. Uh, you can leave it on, just wipe it, and it makes an extra moisturizer. So those things will penetrate into your layers of skin. Uh, glycerin. Polysorbate 80. Yes, it helps with emulsifying. And I don't want any separation. It just kind of helps it bind it together without using the beeswax. Which I love beeswax. I'm not saying anything about beeswax. Oh, it's, do I got all that? Doesn't look like it. So let's get all of that. Good, 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 good extra virgin olive oil. Okay, this is going to be unscented. And the newbies, you can see the water and the oil separation. And this is what we're going to do is bring it to emulsification. I'm not adding my uh, preservative until this cools down to about 120 what I usually do because this was probably about 160 I'm a guessing I guess because I make it so much that I I don't even do that anymore but I'll bring this down to about 120 or even just before I get ready to pour it in there I'll give it a stir put my optifin in it which is another whoops, sorry you guys didn't mean scary but what is another um, emulsifier, believe it or not. So, here we go. And just stir it. It's like making my get you guys out of the way. even closer. Let's see what I'm doing in my pot. Okay, just stirring it to get the bubbles, but do you see that it's floating out around a little bit? But you just stir it, get the bubbles out, leave it alone for five minutes, come back, give it a little bit of more of a stick blend. You don't have to sit there and stick blend it to death, even if you're making lotions. <laughs> So I want everything to stay clean. And instead of removing this all the time, I'm just going to leave this in here. And we'll bring you back in about five minutes. Okay, five minutes are up. And I'm going to get my gloves on. Put alcohol on it. Get everything clean again. Stir bubbles and let's give it another buzz. No more bubbles in it because it's so little. <laughs> in there, but do you see any floaty oils? <laughs> so I like with all of the emulsifiers in here. It doesn't take very much at all. No sense. Give a little bit of buzz. 
turn it on for five more minutes and I'll bring you back and then it should be down to a cooler. Get ready to put everything in. going to put in the preservative. I just took the temp so that everyone would know and it's down to 115. So this is just very, very good. And get that in there. And then we can fill our jars. That's already been prepped. Okay. You can see that it's getting thick, huh? Looking good. and most important thing is to keep everything clean. Scrumptiously clean. You can't see me, but I got my hair up. Oh, back in the 40s style. Yep. Like Lucy. <laughs> Danny thinks it's funny. But everything around, just everything clean, clean, clean. I don't want to get those bubbles in there. And it don't, nothing bad about it. But, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see this. So I'll just bring you over here. See me fill. There. That looks right there. Better. Scoot you right back there. Okay. Just trying to get the bubbles out of the top part and watch me make a mess like I usually do. Ooh, it looks like cream, don't it? It's gonna be, it's not gonna be a white white, it's gonna be cream because why? Yes, extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to try to get some little ones. Put this over here so where I know it's all clean. Thank you, Miss Renee. I should put it in a little thing, but like I said, these are going to be little samples for people that are loco or, I don't know, we're just... It's hard if you don't have like a, when you are online, an online business, it is very hard for someone to buy. But if they can pick it up, touch it, yeah, that's the thing. So that's why I said it's local. And let's see, I think we're going to try a two ounce. Yes, Renee, I am going to be using all of them. She sent me a beautiful love gift not too long ago. And uh, had some um, jars, the little ones and these two ounces, which, oh, I just, I use the two ounces, four ounces and the little samples very, very much. I was so excited. Huh, Danny? 
is really very nice to meet you. All right, and then what I will do is probably just give it a little stir after this cools down a little bit on the top so that the bubbles. That's all there is to it, folks. And the new ones, the newbies, don't be afraid, except for keep everything clean and use a preservative. Just everything clean. Danny was complaining, everything smells like bleach. And I said, that's a good thing. And then we got to talking about germs and bugs and sicknesses and all that good stuff. This one right here is mine, so I just put in that luscious cream. Reminds me of when I had goats, Patrick. <laughs> Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Love you guys. Stay out of trouble. And I will see you in the next adventure. We should be doing some more soaping videos. Uh, Friday, I get a uh, big old shipment of my life. So, bye-bye.